going under with Briar Boy, and um, well, you might be wondering my, why my camera's at a weird position. Well, first off, uh, some of these pictures involve uh, people I know who I turn into giantesses and my giantess pictures, and I promised them that they wouldn't be posted on the internet in any way, shape, or form. So I like to keep that promise. Uh, secondly, you know, you know what? Why don't we? Uh, and the camera over here, cause uh, why not? So give me a minute. So this is my couch, and I thought I'd make it a, uh, you know, a little more personal, a little more one-on-one -on -one here. And this is a video I've been thinking about doing for quite some time. Why are now I don't now I've never gotten asked these questions, but it's a video I've been thinking about doing for a while. It's like um. Why are my DVD, sh why are my movie shelves hybrid shelves? Now, in case you don't know what a hybrid shelf is, that means a shelf that involves two different formats or one or a few different formats on one shelf. You, For example, some people might have uh, DVD and VHS shelves or Laserdisc and... Uh, uh, VCD shelves, or in my case, DVD and Blu-ray shelves that are on the same shelf. Now, why do I do this? One, I don't think I have the shelf space to do it. To, like, have a pure Blu-ray shelf and a... I have enough shelf space to make a pure DVD shelf, but... I don't feel like making a pure Blu-ray shelf. And I don't fucking... And I don't feel like separating my DVDs and Blu-rays. I don't really see a point to it as much. And I think my main uh, contributor to that is a guy called Zeran Isaac. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. And it's because of him that I've become very well educated in terms of movie collecting uh, and DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff. With that said, um, I just, like I said, I don't, I don't think I have the shelf space to make a non-hybrid shelf. In fact, uh, the shelf I'm looking at right now is the only shelf that is pure Blu-ray. At this point, I'd say it's pure Blu-ray. Or, not pure Blu-ray, what the fuck am I talking about? It's almost, it does, it does, it has the most Blu-rays on it. The reason being is that I've collect, I've started collecting a lot more Blu-ray than I used to. I used to, if you go back to my DVD updates, and I strongly urge people who are curious about my stuff to go back and watch my early, early DVD update videos. You can tell because uh, I called the, the first one is called the latest DVDs I got. Uh, I could show you the ones I've got, like I could show you what those are and, you know, what I was curious about. And I just wanted to get into movie collecting. I was so curious about movie collecting, and I always liked collecting film in some point or another. I always liked having a DVD. I always liked looking at the bonus features of DVDs, and I liked collecting them at the time. So obviously, uh, those those updates show my evolution from being a guy who's like, what's the point of getting Blu-ray if I got a standard def TV? To a guy who's like, yep, there's a fucking difference. You want to know the two movies that really showed me that there was a difference between DVD and Blu-ray? The Avengers and Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Those are the two Blu-ray releases that I can definitely tell you without a doubt showed me that there is a clear picture quality difference between the two formats. I mean, you'd only know, you wouldn't notice it unless you're an idiot, you know. So, yeah. So, that's how I just wanted to say. I just wanted to say why some of my shelves are hybrid shelves. And the reason why they're hybrid shelves. There is something I might reorganize when uh, I clear some of these bookshelves off. Books. Clear off the books off the shelves. Then, um, I might reorganize my Doctor Who collection. But other than that, you know, it's just a little time waster vlog I decided to do. That I might just throw together and... Windows Movie Maker. Hopefully, I'll get another movie, movie editor program that'll be better than Windows Movie Maker because that's a piece of shit program. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little random vlog, and live long and prosper and have a nice day.
because my camera's about to shut off.